told my brothers one day we gon' make it. We just gotta grind for that paycheck. Mama told me one day I'll be famous. Remember when she used to say she hated us? Back then they would laugh when I say shit. Now I'm inside all them people's playlists. So one day I'll be stomping on those stages. But right now we just dancing in the basement. Got inside a basement. Said it's 4 a.m. Still with wavy tweaking bases. Learn this shit ourselves on my own time. I made shifts. Shooting for the moon. Gonna turn this Honda to a spaceship. Sure they want me. I just wanna get some rain and sleep. Shit, low free, yeah. Say what I want, then I get what I want. It's too easy, yeah. Baby, you know I'm a G. I gotta double them C's. She wanna put it on me. Used to sit inside my room, living through some interviews. Told my ass up out of school, I knew I had to make some moves. Got that pressure on me, turn anxiety to diamonds. Demons make it hard to close my eyelids. Told my brothers, when day we gon' make it. Yo, what's going on YouTube? Jumpin' Chris here. We come back at y'all with another vid. What we have here today? Bam! That's right. These are the static two point. Nah, I'm just playing. They're not. Technically, these are the Yeshayas, Yeshias, Lish yeah. I, what Yeshia? Yeshia? Yeshia. Shia. Or I don't know. It's a Hebrew word or something like that. Anyways, you know, when we first saw a picture of these things, it was like purple or something like that. And then all of a sudden, they basically made it to the leftovers of the st statics. I sh you know what? I can't even lie, man. These are, they look exactly like the statics. Exactly. I mean, dead ass. Like, seriously, look at this. They look pretty dag on close. Maybe a little bit difference but no it's almost exactly like it like i don't even know what to say for real i mean one doesn't have a pull tab i guess you know one has more translucent so you know uh mine i see i actually wore mine oh dang i mean i guess you know these are cool and all Let, let's say for instance okay you're a you new yeezy guy or just a new sneaker head in general and you just get into the game and the shies came out you know basically they're going for about uh retail so they're not going for much you know the statics these things are going for like four five hundred dollars right now so i mean if you had to pick one i the cheaper route i definitely would probably have to go with these thank goodness i got these on the release date these came out about last two years ago so or a year and a half ago so i think this would be a better choice if you're going for pricing so but anyways it's exactly the same thing if you already had the statics or the lundmarks or the cloud whites or whatever <laughs> you there's absolutely no reason to have these things like for real um I, I just get to keep it 100 percent it's to my opinion i really think that kanye kind of dropped the ball i mean we've been having some great releases and you know some new colorways we had aliens v3s um you know and we're supposed to get some more colorways in 2018 and then for them to drop this one for their first yeezys like it's kind of like they're going backwards i don't know man i, I totally disagree what they did with with these i mean i probably would like it even better if they pull out the if, if they did come out with a whole purple concept art one I personally wouldn't cop it or wear it because it's all purple. I don't know about that. But these things here is is exactly like the sacks, man. It really is. And it's it's kind of a little disappointing. But you know what? But I do get it. If you do like these things, let's say, like I said, if you don't have the stacks or any other Yeezys, if this is your first pair of Yeezys, I think that's dope. I mean, they're very little differences. I don't know. Like, since I'm like, you know, I got all the Yeezys and stuff, you know, there's... I, honestly, I probably most likely will not keep this in my collection. So, but before I keep dog on this shoe, let's just go ahead. Let's just get into this re review real quick. All right. First things first, let's take a look at the whole entire shoe. This whole 360. Look at the design. I actually really do like this design. They, well, this is what I call the static pattern design. If you guys it just did start off with the statics. And yes, it does have like a little bit of this gray printing you can see the gray netting and throughout the, all the statics throughout all the design the little gray netting and threads and yes the whole upper is this prime net material throughout there are little hints of different type of shades like a little bit like this little greenness or something it's a little bit different like here's also green compared it's not just a flat uh bright white there is a little bit of uh, like off white probably uh moving on to the stripe here you have this translucent stripe through and you guys can see and no it does not have the pull tab in the back it is gone take a look at the back it does come with your 3m rope laces which i think is pretty fire moving on to the back you have your 3m three stripes in the back of the heels inside the insole you have that adidas yeezy logo in the insole all white 
and then inside you have the see-through boost throughout the difference between the statics and these is definitely the soles if you guys can see it has this little clear translucent sole throughout rubber outsole and like here it has like a little bit of like gum sole almost look alike type of deal and moving on to the bottoms you get that boost popping through the rubber outsole and you guys can see boost is life the, the midsole here it do, it's a little have a green tint to it so it, it does remind me of the hyperspace a little bit i pull out the hyperspace side by side you can see the soles is just a little similar but this one's a lot more greener tint these and then of course this would the gum sole is basically the same on the outsole now quick little 360 of the <laughs> these are the if you guys didn't know these are the statics these are the um, yashayas and yes the statics is a little bit more darker gray basically and these are just a little bit lighter that's pretty much the only difference to be honest so and of course the pull tab in the back but yeah it's a uh, pretty freaking similar man you guys decide <laughs> i don't know if you have if you have both the statics and and um yashai's like you guys let me know what would you rather keep or are you even decide to keep it or not so the yashaya yashaya yashi yashila yeah shenene shay it's i don't say man you know it's all good anyways these things should be pretty easy to get but to my surprise these things actually sold out on Yeezy Supply and Adidas like in a matter of like 20, 10 minutes or so. So that's actually pretty crazy. Uh, so are these have any hope for these things as in for any kind of resale? Uh, not so much. I don't think so. Especially if you're going for like the, you know, the average bigger sizes. Of course, babe size. You know, babe size is any, fair game. But for these things, do I see these things going up anytime soon? I mean, look at the love marks right now. Except for the cloud whites. Those are actually doing pretty good. But I'm just saying, compared to something like the stacks, I actually think the stacks might even go lower just because of these. But who knows about that? I don't know. The stacks is an OG colorway, but with these one, e, I don't, I don't know, man. I, I, I don't think there's any hope. Uh, but other than that, these things here, it's still a good looking shoe. To be honest, it's still great looking. I wear my stacks quite a bit here, and they look, they look great. And this is pretty freaking close. It's similar to the same damn thing. So. I mean, I think these things look great on feet. I wear these a bunch of times. And the same thing with these. If I had, if I didn't have the statics, I would be super excited to have these things. So that's one plus. But they did sell out quite pretty fast online, especially babe size. It was gone in a matter of seconds with those things. Uh, these things were actually somewhat kind of limited in my area, especially. I'm not sure about how you guys are. Only one store got these things in my area. Only one store. No foot sites, nothing. I guess. There's definitely a lot more limited compared to the Yachillas and the Yisrael's. Those are definitely way more limited in this, you know, holiday season and all. But still not really doing too much numbers. One, because this colorway is just not that sought after. I mean, we done got these things already like a bunch of times. Since they did sell online, they actually might be still be at your local area if you check. Uh, they probably will end up selling out by, you know, in a couple days just because I don't think many stores got that many pairs from what I heard. So if you want these things, I recommend you guys go into your local store, see if you can get any unclaimed pairs. From a size nine and a half and up, I think you should be fine. Anything lower than that, it's going to be pretty tough to get like a nine. Uh, maybe a nine would be okay, but like eight and a half and all the way down, I think they're pretty much gone. That's pretty much, you know, decent size money, all right? But bigger sizes, of course, uh... It's pre it should be, they might still be there, you know? Just because they're not going for much. And then these are good, it's a good personal shoe. This is a great personal shoe. Now for V2s, I always say about go a half size up. If you're size nine, go a nine and a half, obviously, you know? But I always wear my Yeezys without the insoles because I feel like you can feel the boost a lot more better. And plus, it's, it's just a little bit more room because right here, the prime is really, really tight. So it kind of squeezed my a little bit so i always wear it without the insoles see just like that that's how i always wear it without the insoles i just feel like it just feels much better and it feels great so you know plus you can feel the boost but you guys know these here this is a great looking shoe it's all white so it goes with everything you know definitely i would highly recommend joggers skinnies uh, this is a great summertime spring shoe, of course. All white. Can't go wrong with it. I mean, the month of February is going to be packed with releases, even with Yeezys as well. We got a, uh, Next week, we're supposed to get like an exclusive Yeezy supply drop for the Mar Mash, Marsh, Mish, or something, whatever. Uh, so V2s are still here to stay. Yes, I know. I want more models in different models. And just at least give me different colorways, you know what I mean? But I think 
V2s are still here to say we're gonna get a lot more colorway, especially this year as well, but a lot more models as well. So I'm actually pretty excited about that. So we're getting like Yeezy basketball shoes, another V uh, 700 V3s. So it's still looking good for the Yeezy brand, but this here, it just reminds me of, they can't keep doing stuff like this, you know? So, but it is what it is, it's all good. But anyway guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video guys. If you guys don't mind, please hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if it's your first time here. Comment down below and please hit that bell for all the notifications for when I do drop vids. Don't forget to follow me at all my social media at Chris on IG. Sometimes I'm on Twitter and don't forget Snapchat. Anyway guys, I'm Chris. Peace. Pew.